Hello, in this short video I would like to show you how you can use your Google Drive as a document camera or simply to annotate worksheets which you have as PDF files. You can use this to read along and highlight text for example or you can draw on a worksheet or fill in exercises with a type tool. And of course you can also use this to annotate PDF files. The first step is to go to your mobile device, either a smartphone or a tablet, and start the Google Drive app there. Then you touch the scan button and take a picture of your source document. This can be either a printed publication or work that was handed in by a student. The scanner tries to find the correct settings automatically. That is the crop area and the kind of image, color or grayscale. You rotate the image using two fingers. When you're finished, you simply upload the image to your Google Drive. If you're not satisfied with the result, you can tweak the scan manually. In this case, I don't like the black and white scan and would rather have no effect applied to the scan. Moreover, I would like to enlarge the cropped area a little bit. Once your files are uploaded, you can find them in your Google Drive. Unless you rename them, they start with scanned and the date. And you can open them either with the Google Drive viewer which is very fast but rather limited. For example, colors don't come well across and you can't annotate. If you need annotation and good quality, you can install the PDF Send PDF Viewer and Editor. You can do that by connecting more apps. You type in PDF Send and you can install the app here. I can open that. As this is a better version, this is a bit slow when loading. Once it has loaded, I go to fit width. There are various tools like a drawing tool. And the type tool. And of course the highlight tool, which I can use to highlight new vocabulary, for example. Once I've finished annotating, I can go to Actions and save this back to my drive. Again, this takes a little bit of time. As this is a better version, it does not always work perfectly, but you can also download the file with all the annotations to a PDF file in case you need it. And of course you can share this file with your students as usual. That's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please go to my blog or YouTube channel for more tips and tricks on how to learn and teach with free Google tools.